Okay, so here we are at, uh, it's going to be our squash and potato garden. Chris is going to instruct me what I need to do, but why don't you tell everyone else, how do you start a potato and squash garden? Well, first of all, Chris is lucky because this has all been pretty much prepared. It's got good soil in it. We're going to dig it up. Um, you need to, if you're planting potatoes, you want to plant them six inches deep. Uh, again, you want your rows going, you know, north to south. Keep that in mind because you want the sun and you're going to have squash in here too. Uh, so six inches deep and your rows are going to be about 12 inches wide or 12 inches apart. Sorry, not wide, apart. So you're going to dig your hole, <clears throat> put in some, maybe some soil amendment if you need to, like Chris won't have to. He can dig the hole and when we're getting ready to plant, he's going to just plop his potatoes in. Mm, I'm not quite sure how far apart. Probably, probably, what's that, a foot and a half apart? Yeah. Yeah, about a foot and a half apart and the rows will be a foot apart. So he's just going to do that and then he's going to cover them lightly with soil and as they start to pop up through he can start adding more soil. Now there is a way of doing it where you can plant it and then just as they come up you can just put straw on top. I've never done that. Um, I think one of our members has done that and I think it was quite successful. But we're going to kill the potatoes as they come up. Watering is not an issue right now. Just plant them and I think We'll probably plant the potatoes when we see our first crop of dandelions. That's usually about a safe time to get them in. So probably in two weeks' time, that'll be middle to the middle of May to the third week in May. We'll stick the potatoes. You want the soil to be about four degrees. You want it warmer. So go for it. All right. So here we go. Larry has brought out the tiller for me. So. make our straight rows we have our stake in our line which I put up before I tilled but it's back so here we go I think I'll just use it as a guide and just go along parallel to it you know would be better using a hoe you think or is this well good? probably I, I like to use a hoe but it's up to you Learning. Absolutely. Be safe. Alright, so I don't think I like that too much. We're gonna try a hoe. Six inches is probably the depth of this hay, so. Thing. You know, for me, I would love to be the garden. But if you 
Yeah, I think our box will be able to home or, um, oh, oh, two thirds the size of one of those. Yeah. Two of those. They yeah, not really be stripped for you to grow, like potatoes and squash. Okay, so we are two rows, maybe one about a foot and a half, almost two feet apart, six yeah. inches deep. And uh, we'll keep you updated with our progress when we plant them. So, all right, thanks everyone.